Hi, it's Marshall with Genverters.com, and we're going to measure the power uh, required for juicing. Uh, I've been doing this for a, a short while and had really good success, and uh, just uh, decided that let's measure, let's see what our uh, juicer consumes for the power. And here we have our Jack Lane juicer. And, uh, and then we have our kilowatt and we're going to use it to measure the power and over here on the stove top all in all this is what's going to go into the juicer and uh, I'll tell you how much power it takes and uh, what kind of, if it's, this is a day's worth of vegetables for me or not. Okay, just so you know what it sounds like and everything when I destroy these vegetables, but I get their good juices. Um, we'll fire it up and let you hear, and, and uh, we'll save you some time for the whole process. But for instance, let's just take a red pepper here and toss it in, we'll turn it on. Toss it in. Oh no, Mr. Bill, that hurts. Well, there's more vegetables to mash now. As I watch the power gauge, it looks like uh, steady state like this, about 128 watts, but when you push a head of lettuce or something into it, yeah, it draws 500 watts, but that's intermittent, so it doesn't look like it's too bad. Added benefit is you have this pulp that's left over from the juicing process, and our free-range chickens just come and get it. They love it, so nothing's wasted. And here we have it. You've got pretty much five bottles. Uh, and I usually go through three and a half to four in a, a given day. So, uh, and I've got the whole process down to an hour and 15 minutes, including cleaning up and washing the dishes to keep Jackie happy. <laughs> 